What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Coach Rob619 back with another video. Um, I just got home from the bar. I was chilling with my boy Alonzo Amazing, watching the Charger Raider game. And um, you know, so I said, hey, let me go shoot a video real quick for you know, I call it a night. Tomorrow's New Year's Eve. I want to get this video out, you know, before New Year's Eve, you've got something to watch and um, you know, bring home the new year with a top ten video. Um, also, my boy Star Child, hey man, thanks for the bet. Me and him bet on some. Um, he bet me that the Raiders would beat the Chargers. I don't know what the hell he was thinking about, but he owed me a bottle of cologne now. So, man, you got the address. I'm looking forward to seeing having something new in my collection in the mail, man, real soon. Thanks for that. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna jump into this video real quick. Like I said, this is my top 10 of 2012. I know you guys probably watched my top 10 most complimented. That video was just pretty much everything that I've had in my collection for years that I've been wearing for like the last past 10 years. And, you know, that was more like a cumulative, like, uh, you know, um, video. That was my compliment that I had, like, you know, the most of in the last, you know, however long I've been wearing colognes. This, obviously, is just for this year. These are things I've worn. Um, you know, I wore plenty of samples in 2012. I've wore plenty of bottles, man. I've wore a lot of stuff like every single day of this year. You know what I mean? So that's 365 colognes I've been spraying on, you know, for 2012, testing out, seeing what people think about them. And I think I summed it down to this 10. Every time I wear these, I get a ton of compliments. A couple of these, basically, um, I wore a sample of these and received compliments. Like in my last video, I said, I had five meals or ten meals of samples of one fragrance, and I received as much compliments on that as like 50 meals of another bottle, or other bottles that I've had in my collection, man. So um, I'm gonna jump into those. So without further ado, let's get right into this. Um, these have all done well for me in um, 2012. And before I get into that, man, shout out to all you other reviewers. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm a guru or something. Um, a lot of these bottles in my collection, I purchase samples of, I purchase bottles because I watch other reviewers. There's reviewers out there that I trust. I trust their noses and I went out there and either purchased the bottle blind or I purchased some samples and um, I actually, you know, like them for myself and, um, <clears throat> and I, I, I advise you guys to do the same, man. Really, when you're watching somebody's video, try to make sure that reviewers live in the same lifestyle as you you know what i mean if you're a partier you in the clubs and you watching the dude a reviewer whose job is being a school teacher and he don't get out you guys probably ain't gonna have the same you know what i mean the same taste and fragrances because you guys have different goals you guys by now should know me man i'm about getting compliments i'm about wearing stuff that smell good i'm about wearing crowd pleasers i'm about wearing things that the ladies like you know what i mean so if that's what you're looking for man Keep watching my channel. Keep following me. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what you're getting. If you're looking for something obscure, you're looking for something that smells weird, you're looking for something that smells like burnt tires, Indian food, and baby diapers. This ain't this ain't the channel for you. You know, I'm not I'm not into that super complex stuff that doesn't get compliments. That that really don't in the real world don't isn't pleasing. You know what I mean? This is not me. But for 2013, I'm gonna keep bringing you stuff that smells good. I'm gonna keep bringing you stuff that people around you gonna like your girlfriend gonna like your mother gonna like you know what I mean if you work at a job with a lot of people they gonna find pleasing that's what you're gonna get from my channel you ain't gonna get nothing that's that smells thing straight up so anyway let me get into this number 10 top most complimented fragrances coach Rob War in 2012 no other than YouTube favorite pure malt now for this to be 10 you know I got some I got some some heavy hitters coming up before this but for this one I wore it you know I can't tell how much juice is left but I wore it to Vegas I wore it to a couple places and I did receive a couple compliments here and there um it didn't really blow people away like I thought it would but I did receive you know a good number of compliments um, when I wore it. Actually, I wore it on my girlfriend's birthday not too long ago, and I received a compliment that night on it. So it definitely great night out fragrance, great winter fragrance in my opinion. You can't go wrong with Pure Malt number ten. Coming at number nine, I did a video on this one. 
Um, I told you guys this one reminds me of a little Labo fragrance. Um, it's kind of feminine, so you guys that that's not into florals or kind of feminine smelling um, fragrances, you might not like this. But for everybody else, if you like aquatic, you like fresh, clean citrus with a little florals in it, Bergamotto Merino. This is, in my opinion, niche quality for designer, not even a designer price, a bargain bin price. This is a 50 ml bottle, 1.7. I paid $20 with shipped to get to my house. And <clears throat> it has a nice melon note, nice aquatic note, nice floral note. Um, somebody told me it smelled like they compared this to Millicent Imperial. I wouldn't compare it to that, but you get the vibe. If most if some people are comparing it to Millicent Imperial, you get the vibe. This is a great aquatic, great citrus frag. Um, for hella cheap, you can't you can't beat it. Even if you don't like it, you pay twenty dollars. So you can't go wrong with that. And that was number nine. Number eight. I've had this in plenty of videos by now. You've seen this a ton on YouTube. All the hype is warranted. You get a ton of compliments. This Imperial Model is my go-to night scents. Um, you cannot go wrong with this, man. I'm trying to tell you, this is one of the best fragrances out from the designer houses. And that's La Nuit De Long YSL. You know, this one, great, sweet, kind of powdery, cinnamon vibe going on, man. To me, this is a masterpiece. In my opinion, this is really a masterpiece for what it is. You know, most fragrances, you know, you hear about designers. I mean, you hear about perfumers and what their idea was in creating a fragrance or what they had in mind when they created it. For a fragrance to say, I guess it's called, I guess it stands for Man of the Night or the Night Man or whatever, but for a company to put out a product that's marketed towards the night and make something like this that's perfect for the night, to me, this is a masterpiece, nighttime fragrance, in my opinion. If you're looking for something to wear to the clubs, you're looking for something to put on, you're going anywhere at night, this is the one, masterpiece. And I don't think I even said anything as a masterpiece. I don't even think I used the word masterpiece before. But when it comes to nighttime fragrance, La Nuit, it's a masterpiece for the nighttime. That was number eight. Coming in at number seven, every time I wear this fragrance, I get a compliment. I primarily wear it in the daytime. But every time I've worn it, especially when I give somebody a hug or something like that, they always tell me, I smell good. What do you have on? What is that? And that's no other than Chanel's Platinum Eagle West. I get, man, a ton of compliments on this. Fresh, clean, elegant. I mean, this, this is some great stuff. You definitely got to get your hands on this, especially if you're looking for compliments. That was number seven. Coming in, number six. I've always, everybody talk about it. Majority of people love it. I love it. Another masterpiece. Um, it's not gonna be new to you, and that's no other than you already know. DHI original formulation coming in at number six. You guys are probably wondering. You see the silver, you know, silver cap. You guys are probably wondering. And it smells good. Clean iris, cocoa, smooth, lasts all day. Longevity beast, projection beast, silage beast, everything. And you guys are probably wondering. You know, as good as this is, and it's, you know, my Believe the Hype video, why is this, you know, so low on my list with number six? As you can see, the juice is hot. I don't even wear this no more. And that's, you know, thanks to one of my subscribers, Jay Posco. My boy, he asked me uh, what was the, um, I guess, the manufacturer's code or the serial code on my bottle. I gave him the bottle, man. He told me, he's like, dude. You have a vintage bottle. Like that shit is old as hell. The bottle that I have, this vintage bottle, online is going for three hundred dollars. The the serial number that I got. So once he told me that, and it's his fault, I slowed down on this, man. I don't even really wear it no that much. I may buy me the reformulation version and wear that before I before I before I use the juice up in this, I'll buy a reformulated bottle and use all that up before I use this. So this one I really don't even wear it unless I'm really going somewhere nice, somewhere real upscale. It's pretty much the only time I throw that one on now. And um, to anybody else out there, if you have samples of the reformulated version of this DHI, please PM me 
send me like two meals of it. I'll send you two meals of mine. We can do a swap so we can both see the difference. I want to shoot a video on the differences between my formulation, the original formulation, and the reformulated version and see if there's a big difference. I shipped some out to one of my boys, J4K22. I had sent him some and he told me he can tell a difference. He told me that my version is much smoother, it's, it's much more refined um, than the version he had. He had a reformulated version. So, once again, if you guys have a reformulated version, first person PM me, send me some, I'll send you some of mine, and we can do a little swap like that so I can see what the reformulated version I can do a video for you guys that's also curious about the differences. Um, but anyway, let's jump into number five. Now, these five I'm about to get into compliments galore. Um, one, I don't have the bottle of. I had about, I think, eight or ten mils of it. And I swear, every time I wore that eight mils or that ten mils, however much I had total, I think I had ten mils. So I had two five mils. So yeah, I had ten mils of it. And I got compliments. I got more compliments with that ten mils than pretty much everything I just showed you. And uh, that would be my number two. But number five on my list of top most complimented 2012. Boys they are cheap. Chris and Dior. I got in on a swap with um Slurpees here on YouTube. He got me 50 mils as you can see. I use a lot of juice of it. And this um first day, I mean the first three times I wore this, compliments. I I, I don't hmm. Yeah, I don't think I've ever wore this and I got a compliment. I think this is probably the only fragrance in my collection. Not saying it's the best, but I think this is the only one that every time I wore it, I got a compliment. I have not I have yet to wear this and not get a compliment. Boys they arch it. It smells great. To me, it smells like a mixture of my DHI and uh, Midnight in Paris. So if you guys are familiar with either one of those, to me, that's what you have here with Boise Archie. And as you know, the bottle of this is, is like 500 bucks or something, man. So I would not pay that price. Get in on a split. You know, I paid, I think I paid 60 bucks for 50 mils of this. So that was well worth it. My boy Slurpee, shout out to you Slurpees. Get in on a split. That was number five. Coming in at number four, I had, I think my, uh, I think my, my, my home girl, Cyan girl, one of my subscribers, how to you? I think she sent me some of this, like two or three meals. I bought five meals, and I think I may have had another two meals. So I had about ten or more meals of this. I was gonna shake a little out of my tester that I have, but fortunately, if you watch my Facebook page, I mean, if you watch my video, I went to my Facebook page. You are familiar with this on so my last video. If you watch that. You know, my girlfriend hooked me up for Christmas, and she got me my, a full bottle of Bleecker Street. I've told you guys many a time, this is one of my girlfriend's favorite fragrances, and she put her money where her mouth is, man. She bought me a full bottle, Bond Number 9, Bleecker Street, and this is one of the cleanest, freshest fragrances in the game. Got a great blueberry note, like I said before, longevity beast. That's one thing that I know about the bonds. I don't really love all the bonds, but the bonds that I do end up liking, the citrus ones, they project, they last all day. I mean, gray silage, they're, they're performance beats. Like, I'm not really one of those reviewers that I tell you go out and spend 150 or $200 on a fragrance, but you can find these ones on like eBay, fragrance.net for like $100. I seen some bonds on um, fragrance.net. Well, they were selling it through eBay, but the you know, but it was through fragrance.fragrance.net.com. Uh, 80 bucks. Not this one, but I seen a couple other bond number nines, Coney Island, Wall Street, um, Cooper Square. I seen a couple of those other ones. 89 bucks on eBay. So for 80 bucks, 85 bucks, a steal for the projection, the quality you get, the longevity you get out of these bonds. Go on eBay, fragrance.net, and buy them. They're worth the price. 250 230 whatever the prices are, like at Neiman Marcus or on at, the, at their website. I don't know if I would pay that for them, but anything under 100 is a steal. But Bleecker Street, I was wearing a sample of this. I swear, man, I was getting so many compliments off a little-ass 5 mil sample to where then I got a couple other samples, like I said, from my subscriber sign girl and from other places. 
And every time I wore it, not every time, but the majority of times I wore it, I kept getting compliments. So I had to get a bottle. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad my girlfriend beat me to it. But to me, this is one of the best from the Bond House. Bond number nine, Bleecker Street, coming in at number four. Number three. Another one you guys are very familiar with. Um, I actually swapped my last Stein, Dagerlon Extreme. I gave my bottle away for this. Um, this is another one back in the day, watching reviews. People talked about it. I bought me a sample of it. I had a 1.5 at first from my perfume court. Went through it. Um, compliments galore. Bought five mils of it. Compliments galore. So I said, you know what, man, let me see if I can swap some and get me a nice size decan. If not, I got to go buy a bottle. So, number three, Millicene Imperial. As you see here, I got 70 mils. I bought, I got swapped my last time for 75 mils. I got this 70 mils and I got a 5 mil uh, atomizer. And um, I've been using that 5 mils, but you guys already know, man. Fresh, aquatic, watermelon note, sea salt, a little bit of florals in there. It's great, man. You're going to get a ton of compliments with Millicene Imperial. Number three. Number two, I don't have um, my birthday is from January. So I think this may be a gift to myself. Um, I had five meals for um, Dark Man Decants. I had, um, I think my boy, the, Fer the fragrance guy, he sent me some. A couple other people sent me some. So I had a lot of number two, and that's Aventus. I'll probably put a picture right here or right here somewhere. And um, I mean, you guys don't even need to, need to see what the bottle looks like. You know what Aventus is. You know what Aventus is about. Compliment getter. It's a beast. Great longevity. Great projection. Great silage. You know what I'm saying? It's probably one of the best colognes out, period. Bottom line. Um, every time I wore that, compliments, compliments, compliments. I did a, you know, believe the hype on that. You want to watch that video, you'll see what I'm talking about. Great fragrance, my number two most complimented of 2012. Now, number one, this is the big gun. Um, this one, I wouldn't say it's the best on this list. I wouldn't say it's better than those that I've already shown you. But what I would say is that it's a beast, it's great. I've got the most like dramatic compliments wearing this. I mean, I've had women like not women, I had a woman, she was like, you feel, you smell freaking awesome, what is that? But what's funny about this number one is that I was going to somebody's house, right? Knocked on the door, I was delivering something. I was talking to them. They didn't really smell this fragrance, you know what I mean? And then I had to go to my car, pick up something, and come back and give it to them. When they came out their house, they were like, and when I came back, they were like, dude, you, the lady was like, you feel, you smell freaking amazing like that that's whatever you have on this whole area smelt like you when you left now with this one <clears throat> the projection isn't the greatest but this puts a nice scent bubble around you and it has beast beastly silage like wherever like if I'm standing right here right it'll probably project probably like from for me to about right there that's that's all it's gonna project but what this does it like it radiates and my whole area where I'm at is filled with this fragrance and when I walk away this whole area I was standing at in the trail from wherever I'm going is filled with this fragrance this is the best silage fragrance I've ever wore it's the best in my collection I constantly get compliments when I come back to the area I was previously in, you know what I mean? So this thing leaves a leaves a scent trail wherever you're going, back and forth. Um and it's it's just great. And enough talking about it. Let me just show you what it is. Keaton, man, you guys know it's my signature. Most of the juice is going as you can see. I put a I put a dent in the bottle already. I wear this stuff all the time and being that I wear it a lot, that's why this is my most complimented of 2012 great great scent um, for you guys that didn't see the video basically what this is to me it's the opening of green Irish tweed and a dry down of Aventus for the price of like $75 it's pronounced ketone I, I say ketone but it's ketone ketone men clean fresh compliment getter 
Um, it's elegant. You can wear this dress down, dress up, whatever you want. But if you're looking for compliments, it kind of matched my members only jacket. You know what I mean? With the red writing. But if you're looking for compliments, you're looking for this. Ketone, man. Um, I think, I don't, I don't want to say it's exclusive to Nordstrom's, but that's the only place I see they sell this at is Nordstrom. So check your Nordstrom's out. And obviously check online. Ketone, man. Most complimented. 2012. And depending on what the ladies say, determines what I spray. Coach Rob out. Everybody, have a safe New Year's Eve, man. Don't do no drinking and driving, please. Don't go out there get no DUIs. Don't go kill nobody. Don't go injure yourself wreck, or wreck your car. Stay in, you know what I mean? Get a, get a cab, whatever you got to do to stay out those streets. Have fun. I hope to see you guys in 2013. Bringing you guys some more reviews. You know how I do it. Peace.